Hey, Gail. Catherine. Cat for short. Yes. Who are you going to say hi to? Kenny in Denmark. Hi, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> okay, so I have done, been doing a little test here over the last month. Every day I come into work and I grind um, uh, beans in both of these grinders. On the left-hand side, I had these ones that are lighter roast. A little drier. And the right, we had some darker oily. These actually dried out a little bit when they first um, <coughs> arrived. They had a nice mm -hmm. sheen to them. Yeah, oh yeah, they were glistening all over the place. <laughs> exactly. Um, so we're going to look and see what the burrs look like after 30 days of grinding two minutes on each one of these a day. Yeah, I, I did this dial twice, twice each day. Yep. Um, so, all right. So, we're going to take apart and see. No cleaning. This is the first time they're disassembled. Drum roll. <laughs> need a flashlight. <laughs> Let's see here. Wow. Okay. All righty. Not the, not the worst thing in the world I've ever seen. Can you see no. that? Or yeah. Do we need more light? No, it's good. Okay. Okay. And then down in there, Looks you like can see. like you did a pretty coarse. Um, I did it at espresso grind. Okay. Yeah. All right, and now here's the medium roast. Doesn't mm -hmm. you know what? That grind on that one over there looks much much coarser. Were you looking at it in the bin when it was? Yeah, you were they were yeah. the same level. Well, actually, that stuff down in there is a little bit coarse too. Yeah. This this looks more um, of the, you know, uh, really fine coffees there. Oh, that's got it too. You just can't see it. It's there. Because it's so much darker. Let's it's see if there. we can get, maybe we can pull this guy over underneath the spotlight. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's there. It's just because the color is different. Yeah. But they, you know, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. No. And there's a little bit more buildup on the one with the darker roast, but not... Uh, yeah, not as I expected it to be really gummed up. Maybe Me it too. takes six months. <gasps> let's start. Let's do a six month test, <laughs> and then you can see the other side down in there as well. Um, yeah, I I, we should, I guess we should do a longer test. One of the I mean, when we find the time, but this is good for now. Yeah, it is. So mm -hmm. basically, I mean, you you know, if you are using dark roast or medium roast, if you ran grinds through once a month, you probably would be just fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now you know what we should do. Hmm. Let's pause and we'll run some grinds through one of these and show the, what it looks like. No? We should run grinds through both and yeah. see what see how it goes. Okay, let's do that. We'll be back. All right, Gail. So, so we we'll went down and got some grinds and ran one of those pouches through each of these grinders. Exactly, and you can see they they have the dusty look. Yes, that's the grinds. It's a wheat by byproduct. Look at that. No, no, no more coffee. Mm -mm. Pretty good. See how nice that looks. Yeah. The only thing it won't get is around this rim right here. You'll have See, to kind of go, yeah. You just take a rag. Clean to that it. a little every so often. Yeah, but um, I mean, that's the oily one. This is the other one that wasn't as oily. Mm -hmm. See how nice that looks? And yeah. then you chase that with a little bit of coffee. Yeah, and so it's, it's definitely a little bit uh, cleaner than that one. It didn't mm -hmm. so soak up as much um, of the oils in this one. There's still some res more residue, but very minimal difference. Minimal, yeah. yeah. Did a good job. So you could basically, you know, dark dark roast or, or medium roast once a month if you ran the grinds through. You should be fine. You don't need to take apart the burrs often. And well, not very often. I mean, I would run it through, but then once in a while I'd take it out just to get the rest just of the Just to do that yeah. stuff and to kind of brush around and stuff. Yeah. Use a towel, but no moisture. No water oh, allowed. No, don't take, <laughs> don't take the squirter from the sink. <laughs> Why no, not, Gail? No, 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 okay, no. cool. All right, well, um, that was a great test. I yeah. feel a little bit cheated since I had to do this work for a whole month and it didn't give me a big payoff in the end. You get paid. But I guess that it was for science, and now we know. Yeah. Now we know. Yeah. You gave it up for science, Kat. Yeah. We're proud of you. Thanks, Gail. See ya.